today, and this is our annual award that was begun which year? About six years ago, uh, in honor of Louis People's Fight, and she was the first uh, recipient. And uh, in discussions about uh, establishing this award, uh, it was just realized that this organization perhaps would be one of the best to recognize someone in town for their volunteer efforts. And that's what this award is about. It's presented because of the person's volunteer efforts. And certainly, uh, Louis Peoples White set the example for us. And you can see that her, these are her hats on the table. Hats was just a little side thing for Louis. I'm sure the space they took up in their home that Art didn't think it was just a little side thing. <laughs> Louis was into hats before there were red hat clubs. And, uh, she, wherever she, a couple of places she lived, maybe it was London and Valdosta, uh, she organized bring back hats clubs, mm -hmm. of which she was the top hat. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, most of her grand accomplishments, and they're listed on your sheet now, I did talk with Dennis Marks, and we've got a few more things to add to that in the fine, so it's carried into the future. Uh, it's correct now, but with a uh, full explanation, and we will uh, get those in there. But uh, Louis accomplished most of these things for Valdosta in retirement. Uh, she grew up here, and uh, she was a cheerleader, and what did she tell me? in 1936 at Valdosta High School. And that's back when they had, that's back when you had two cheerleaders and not 24. So it was a very much a high honor. And her twin sister was the other cheerleader that day. But she said she began cheerleading for Valdosta, Georgia and never stopped. So, uh, her husband was a, at times a correspondent, at times a bureau chief for Time Magazine. Very interesting life. Many years spent in Washington, where Louis hosted the uh, D.C. Dostons party. And so many people in business and uh, community and chamber of commerce came to know her so well before she moved back here about 20 years after that. But we do recognize the efforts put in uh, in her late life for everything that was done for the community she loved her entire life. And uh, as we progress and speak about Louis loving community. I think everyone involved in Civic Roundtable uh, has love for community, and that's why we're drawn to things that are uh, beyond ourselves. And uh, I would uh, like to share one thing that I heard yesterday, and several other people did also. There was a combination uh, of the three.